Hey everyone, Andrea Fasano here, having so much fun at CES 2016, it's probably illegal. We are here at the Sands Expo and we are here in the basement with these guys. And the company name is CircaCore, but the product is Ember. They're the wor world's first non-invasive hemoglobin tracker for endurance athletes. Want to know what that means? Well, these guys will answer that for us. Hi guys, how are you doing? Great, how are you? I'm good, I'm well. It's a crazy day here at CES. And so tell us a little bit about this product. I know you're displaying it right here. Right now I'm measuring myself with a device called Ember. It's our first consumer device and it's measuring hemoglobin and pulse rate and it's doing it non-invasively. So it's shining light through my finger and it's calculating that value live on the screen. Now for the layman out there, explain to us what hemoglobin is and why it's important for us to know, especially as endurance athletes, what that is in our body. Sure, no problem. Hemoglobin is like a tanker. It carries the oxygen. So the more hemoglobin you have, the more oxygen you're capable of carrying throughout the body. We can go into more details about hemoglobin as well with our physician, Abe Kiani. Okay, Abe, tell us a little bit more about it. Yeah, so hemoglobin is the protein in your blood that carries oxygen. Uh, there's many factors that affect it. Uh, age, sex, altitude at which you're at, which is actually what this device uh, is uh, tailored for, for athletes training at uh, altitude. Nutrition also affects it. Uh, you need certain factors such as uh, B12, and folate, iron, things like that to increase your hemoglobin stores. And the more hemoglobin you have, the more oxygen, excuse me, the more oxygen uh, your body can bind, the more oxygen you can bind, the more oxygen it can deliver to tissues. And those tissues are muscles that our athletes such as Jared uh, need to uh, win the races and competitions that he does. Well, it is so hot down here in this basement. I feel like we need more hemoglobin right now. So Jared, you're um, sponsored by these guys, right? You're the poster child basically for this. You're all over the posters and back here. Um, tell us about the product, how you enjoy using it and what it does for you. Yeah, so luckily, I'd say uh, back in April, I was uh, introduced through my coach to them as they were trying to find some athletes to beta test the product. And so I've actually been using it for nine months and just recently kind of signed on as a spokesperson. Uh, but for me, you know, it's I live in Florida, so I'm training at sea level and I was going up to altitude where my coach is. So one of the big things I wanted to see is did my hemoglobin levels change? Because they should when you go to altitude. And so my coach also has been there a long time. He has kind of a protocol as to how to do it. So we wanted to kind of validate that. We wanted to make sure that I was training at the level that I could. And what we found was it was perfect. So it was really cool to see my change from, you know, just throwing numbers out there that don't mean a lot, but I, I'm normally about 14 at sea level and I worked my way up to 16 at altitude. But that also would then help me when I go down and race at sea level. So it's kind of interesting as an athlete to see all those little things. It's just another training tool that we can use. Now tell the folks at home what kind of athlete are you and why this is so important to what you do. Good, good question. I'm a, I'm a professional triathlete. Um, I was on the 2008 Olympic team and shooting for 2016 again. And we'll see. Yeah. Well, we support you here in the U.S. <laughs> so um, how does this help you? I mean, you explain how it's actually been working, but for you as an athlete. Yeah, so basically every morning I wake up and I, I use the device and it gives me my hemoglobin. It also gives me my resting heart rate, which is kind of a cool thing to have as well. But I kind of see that baseline hemoglobin. And one of the things that I've been looking at over time as well is also how that's changed just when I train harder or train easier, if that number, that kind of baseline number changes. And then I do it before I do a workout and after I do a workout. And that can also tell me how hard I've worked out, if I have any hydration issues, because it always goes up, and it, which is really interesting. So your hemoglobin always goes up during your workout. But that's because your body's working hard, but it's also because you're a little more dehydrated. So it shows me how much more I have to you know, recover before my next workout. And then I take another one at night, which kind of sets me up for the next morning. So yeah, so, and I know people that have taken it, you know, multiple workouts a day. Um, I've right now focused on my hard workouts, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool because you can see it and it changes. Most people think hemoglobin is a static number. It changes all over the place during the day, depending on where your body's at. Wow, so what are some of the things you do or what can we do to increase the hemoglobin when we need to in our body? Well, one of the things, of course, is altitude training. Uh, there's also uh, these uh, oxygen tents that people utilize to try to create that effect. Now, if you're a general athlete like the rest of us, this is all. This also has value because 
as you're training, you also have to make sure you're maintaining adequate nutrition. Again, you need the uh, essential elements that I talked about earlier. And if you have those in your training, uh, you'll be able to increase your hemoglobin uh, in response to training. Also, women naturally tend to have a lower hemoglobin and cycle throughout the months, which is a real important issue for female athletes because many of them tend to run a little bit lower on their hemoglobin. So now having the ability to measure that non-invasively, uh, you have to understand because before this device, you'd have to go to the doctor and get a painful pinprick or needle stick to measure your hemoglobin, wait two or three uh, days to get those results. Now you can do that at, at the point of exercise and be able to trend it over time and see how you're responding. I'm glad you said that. So it's taking uh, a tool that was basically used in hospitals and doctor's offices and bringing it to the consumer, correct? Correct. It's very similar. So what we find is the value of trending that number more frequently is really a, a gain for the athletes. So they don't just get one point in time once a year or four times a year. They have lots of data points now. So in the device, after I take a measurement, all I have to do is go into my history and I can actually bring up results about how my behavior and my hemoglobin levels are. That's very valuable. You could never do that before. So we're very excited about those. Okay. So does this work only on iOS or Multiple. Right now, it's available on iOS. We're open for pre-orders uh, starting at the show. Uh, we're going to start shipping in the end of Q1, Q2. Uh, we have goals to get to the Android platform. Uh, those dates haven't been announced, but it's a priority for us. So we're very excited to reach as many athletes as we can. Awesome. So how do you think uh, people can find you, find out more about this product? Sure. The easiest way is on our website, circacore.com. Uh, we'll also be here at the show for the duration of the show. Well, you guys have a great rest of your show. Thank you so much for talking with us.